hello guys so in this video i actually give you things that you need to actually get started with coding so these are the things that are required to actually get started with coding so without wasting any time let's get right into it so the first thing that you're gonna need when you want to get started with coding is a laptop or a desktop pc or a smartphone right but i wouldn't recommend like a smartphone because when you actually get a job you won't be using a smartphone to code so i'll recommend you to get a laptop or a desktop pc at least to actually get started with coding so are you getting the habit of using those devices right the second thing that you're gonna need when you actually want to get started with coding is an internet connection so you'll be watching a lot of tutorials to actually make sure that you learn the tools that you want to learn you actually need to do your research when you're coding if you face a problem you need to do research to find the solutions to the problem that you're having so if you don't have an internet connection that will be a problem because you'll be struggling to find solutions you'll be struggling to find resources right so you need to make sure that you have an internet connection also you'll be downloading like a lot of libraries when you're actually creating projects and that requires you to have some internet connection but of course you can download those libraries globally so that when you don't have the internet connection you can actually just import them so just make sure you have an internet connection to make the process or the experience of coding smoother then another thing that you're gonna need is a code editor but if you have a laptop or a desktop pc you already have notepad installed which comes with windows but you can download a code editor that makes coding experience easier so you can download visual studio code you can download sublime so there are a lot of code editors that are available so also just make sure that whatever laptop that you're using or the desktop pc that you're using has the actual specs that are required for this code editor some code editors won't work well with some other laptops if they are low end then another thing that is actually needed to actually make your coding experience easier is math so you're gonna need to know math like basics of math you don't need to learn all these topics like calculus and everything you just need the basics you need to know addition you need to know subtraction you need to know multiplication you need to know division so those are actually needed when you actually want to learn coding and make your coding experience much easier right because even if you get a job you'll have a scenario or you have a situation where you need to actually use math to solve a problem but if you don't know math at all then you'll actually face a problem and you won't be able to solve that problem and there are just other fields of coding or of programming that requires you to actually know those other topics like those higher topics of math like calculus and the probability so if you want to do machine learning you're gonna need to know probability you're gonna need to know stats so that's required to actually be good in machine learning and data science or data analytics but if you just going to do the software development it's not really necessary to learn those if you know them like you will make your programming experience easier like you'll be able to solve a lot of problems and also if you're just getting started with coding like you're gonna need some time so just make sure you put some time on the side to actually learn coding because it requires some time if you are at school or if you have a job and you want to do coding also it might be a bit difficult because you don't really have much time to learn coding so it requires you to have some time so just put some time on the side to focus on learning coding and also it requires someone who has patience because you'll have like a lot of problems if you don't have patience you'll quit a lot of times if you face a problem just Put that problem on the side if you are unable to solve it on the first instance put it on the side take a break then come back and try to solve it again and most of the time you actually find a solution to that problem whenever you take that break so when you take that break you'll be thinking of that problem and you actually come up with a solution and nothing that i think like based on my opinion that i think is actually required for someone to actually succeed when they are actually becoming a programmer is someone who actually has curiosity right in programming like there are a lot of technologies that are coming out like there are a lot of updates if you're someone who don't have curiosity like you don't have the eager to actually learn the next thing you won't be curious of what that thing is so you'll stay behind you won't be up to date with the latest technologies so you need to be able to be curious about whatever is out right now and try and learn it yeah those are the things that are actually required to actually get started with coding and i hope the things that i mentioned in this video don't become a world that stops you to actually get started with coding like anyone can get started with coding it doesn't matter what age you are if you are 60 years old or if you are nine years old you can get started with coding but you need those things to actually succeed further when you actually want to go further as a coder or as a programmer when you actually want to get a job right so yeah that's gonna do it guys thank you so much for watching this video if you haven't subscribed yet 
make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and hit that bell icon so you get notified whenever i release new content and lastly like this video guys thank you so much for watching have an awesome day bye